we got a Cutler Hammer in series. This is a CH brand. We are going to be swapping these out with brand new breakers. We are putting a GFI right over here. Good morning to everybody out there today. A nice little blizzard going on, but you know, always a fun day. But go and start off. We are here for a service upgrade. It's not really technically an upgrade per se, but it's a service changeover. Upgrading it from 100 amp to 100 amp. New connections, going to be a new service mast, new point of entry. As of right now, it is currently going into the very top of the roof with not very much clearance. So with that in mind, we're going to go inside. We're going to show you what we've already done. We're going to show you what we're going to do today. We'll be back here in just a short bit. All right, we are back inside. We are going to be showing you what we did. We ended up taking out an old panel that used to be here. It used to be a Pushmatic. And the old meter is still right here because that is currently supplying power. This is the new wire that was coming in from that outside service. Going to be ready to hook up coming up tomorrow. We'll be ripping that out completely, feeding that into the top and into the breaker. But all in all, we are going pretty well into this. All right, guys, and we are back. We got this panel all buttoned back up. We got a couple of circuits labeled. We are going to go through and start labeling the rest of them. And what Eddie's got going on over here, we are putting a GFI right over here. Now before it was a two prong outlet and with that in mind if it was a older house everything that's in there usually is grandfathered in they'll normally have to change it but we are also doing it for safety precautions especially since we are also updating the service a little bit anything off of that has to be updated and in the basement has to have a GFI so that's why we are doing that because since this is in an unfinished area, if it was in a finished area, like this over here, it'd be a little bit different. And even with that, if we ran a new circuit that tied in with those outlets, then it would have to be on a GFI breaker or the first main point to be a GFI and then loaded down. Other than that, we are gonna be running a box over here so that way we can go and put a GFI over here because any C code anything within six foot of a water source or in the laundry room has to have a GFI and we are going to be coming through and all these wires are underneath the truss we are going to re-drill through and have them go above and into the truss so that way they are not underneath here so we are going to be fixing all the derelict wiring. As you see, we're already getting through to the point where we're drilling through the truss, getting all that taken care of. So we got a little bit to do. We got to get that light fixed too. But we got a little bit to do down here. Other than that, we are on a go. And see you in a moment. All right, with that in mind, we just got done with the customer. Uh, we are going to be discussing it. We're going to be looking over his options and he will get back with me as soon as possible, but uh, we'll find out what uh, the day brings. We're going to be going on to the next project. We're going to be doing a panel restoration over at a, uh, another place and uh, see you guys there. All right, we are currently in Pella, Iowa right now. We got a Cutler Hammer Eaton series. Z Eaton. This is a CH brand, tan breakers. And we are going to be swapping these out with brand new breakers because it's about that time to go and change them. And let's get to work. So, along with that line, what prompts for a panel restoration? Uh, why you would need a panel restoration is making sure that everything is sealed uh, correctly coming in and then you also have the fact of the breakers being old they're being loose so therefore the contact 
between the bus bar, everything else is also loose. That can cause arcing, that can cause electrical issues. So replacing it with a brand new breaker would solidify that, wouldn't have as much issues. These are usually relatively simple. It's breaker per breaker switch out. So pretty normal standards. It's always important to remember to double check on your breakers too. If you got the wrong breakers, you wasted a trip. So, so far, we got one whole side switched out. As you can see, nothing on here. Whereas over here, you see updated new level, uh, labeling. So with that in mind, shows uh, usually on how they're manufactured, when they're manufactured, there's different qualities you gotta look at. amp breakers and we are done with today okay. and as you can see we are just about there and what's important about all these is that not only do you have to make sure you're changing out the right breaker because even though this one right here might say 20 amps you want to make sure that the wire gauge size is also applicable for what you're installing. So don't just change it breaker for breaker. You look at it and you make sure it's actually what it's supposed to be. So if it's a 14 gauge wire, it's going to be a 15 amp breaker. Never exceed the maximum opacity rating for your wire sizes. And that'd be my have light ready for this and while we're here what I'm also going to be doing is each of these connections on the neutrals and everything for the ground bars everything else we are also going to be tightening down as well we want to make sure that they are in Pretty good hands. So yeah, mainly that was all that's at. We can see everything was switched out, reassembled. So I'm gonna be doing a final check on voltage, make sure everything is going across great because even with new uh, breakers, you never know. But with that, we are all done here today. We will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.